and welcome to another tutorial from graphicdesignottawa.com. Today we're taking a t-shirt we designed in Photoshop and we're bringing it over to Illustrator to convert to vector because that's what we need to do to send it to print. All right, let's get started. So here in Photoshop, we have our design right here. Okay, and two things you want to do. You want to make sure it's flattened. Okay, so all your layers flatten to one single layer and make sure you have a background. So uh, this is a two color shirt, white and blue printed on a black color shirt. So I want that black color in there. All right, now select the whole thing, copy, bring that into Illustrator, paste. Okay, so now we're in Illustrator, um, and you're going to come up here and click on this Live Trace button. Now, don't worry if it gets rid of part of your uh, design. Don't worry about that. We're going to fix that right now. Click on Tracing Option Dialog up here. Okay, Mode, Color, and Max Colors. As we, men as we mentioned before, we've got the black background colors, so currently our T-shirt is three colors, but we'll take care of that. Okay, so Max Colors 3, click Trace. Boom, there it is, and it is now vector. We're gonna click on expand, and by clicking that, what's gonna happen now is we got all our vector points here. Perfect, okay? Now, click on the direct selection tool, click the black, your background color, go to select same fill color, that's gonna select all the black, and just delete that, okay? Now, all we're left with is our two colors, white and blue, for our vector t-shirt design. No background, this is print ready. Send that to your printers and have it done on a, on a shirt. And as you can see, I am wearing this, this same shirt right now. So it is a tested method. Okay, it's not the only method, but if you prefer designing in Photoshop like I do, this is a way to bring it into Illustrator, convert it to vector, and you're good to go. All right, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the website, the Facebook page, and follow me on Twitter at IMX Productions. Thank you, see you next time.